I think we're here. We're good. Okay. Hey. Um, so hybridization is a part of Vesper, valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. Um, and uh, hybridization, I should have just thrown it in the last video, but I didn't. So I will quickly go over this very, very simple. Well, for our sakes, it's really simple. We don't, it, it's a memorization um, uh, sort of deal, real simple. Um, so I'm gonna come over to my screen here, uh, mirror, zoom, go here, go here. And I'm gonna continue this on to um, our Vesper lesson, okay? Um, so we'll just write hybridization. And we are, hybridization is talking about the mixing um, or over, or a mixing of orbitals. Okay, there's something called molecular orbital theory or MO theory, which is not a part of our curriculum. And Ms. Murphy's very glad because I've never really been schooled on it that much. Um, so I'm gonna keep this as simple as it needs to be. I know I have a lot to do. I know y'all all have a lot to do. I know we all have a lot to learn. So hybridization can be really simple. Um, hybridized orbitals. Hybrid is to combine things, right? To take two things and make one out of them. So you would think about S orbitals and P orbitals kind of overlapping and becoming one orbital, all right? This, that's the basics. Um, so we will see something that can be SP hybridized. It could be SP2 hybridized. It could be SP3 hybridized. If it was S hybridized, we would think, okay, the one S orbital is in is hybridized, is being overlapped with one P orbital. SP2, one S, and two P orbitals. SP3, the one S, and three P orbitals. Well, there are no more than three P orbitals, so we would then add to this. We would do SP3D and SP3D2. There are no other options. So if they, if you're asked, what is the hybridization of something, one of these is going to be your answer. Um, I'm pretty sure that for sakes of AP Chem, one of these will be your answer. But I'll go ahead and give all of them, all of them, okay? One thing you want to notice here is that there's a one and a one, and those add up to two. There's a one and a two, and those add up to three. There's a one and a three gives you four. There's a one, three, and one D that gives me five. And there's a one S, three P, and two D that gives me six. These numbers here reference the number of domains around the central atom. All right, so once you draw your structure, you count the domains around the central atom. And once you do that, you know your hybridization because if it, there are two domains, it's SP hybridized, three domains, SP2, et cetera. That's simple. So let's look at, um, let's just kind of throw some structures down here. We can do water, right? We would all draw water as such. Notice water is bent. Right, you need to know that water is polar because his dipoles do not cancel. Don't say his, say it's. Um, let's count our domains. One, two, three, four. There are four domains there for. This is SP3 hybridized. Simple as that. Um, let's talk about something that might have a double bond. I think that's your carbonate ion is going to have your resonance structure. Um, I'm pulling this out of my head. I hope I am correct here. I'm pretty sure I am. You know, this is an ion. We should treat it as such. And yes, we do have two other resonance structures where the bonds would be in the other locations. Um, however, we're talking about hybridization. So I'm not gonna draw those right now. Um, I've got one, two, three domains. So what you should have just picked up there is the double bond is one domain. 
And what you should have picked up here is yes, electron pairs count as a domain. So for the carbonate ion, I've got three domains. Therefore, we would say that he is S, not he, it. It is sp2 hybridized. There's really not much more you can do with that, right? We could look at PCL5 is going to look going to look like this. Oops. And as you can see, there are one, two, three, four, five domains. So we would need an SP3D would be our hybridization. We've got one S um, orbital kind of overlapping with three orbitals and a D orbital. I don't even know what that looks like, y'all. That's the extent of what you need to know about hybridization. You just need to be able to say it's SP, SP3, SP3D2. Um, last one, carbon dioxide. Actually, I might do one more, right? This would be uh, SP. Right, there's two domains. This is SP hybridized. Some questions will give you long carbon chains. We've talked about these long carbon chains. I could go on and on, y'all. All of these would be hydrogens. This would be an alkane because we would have all single bonds. And they may say, what is the hybridization of the last carbon atom? Well, we could just pick this one. It's gonna be very particular. They're both the same. So if you say, well, what if I pick that one? It would, they're the same. And um, we could say that he is SP3 hybridized due to having the four domains around him. And that's it, okay? So we're gonna end it at that. Might be my shortest video yet, um, but you still need to watch it, stop, share. Okay, see you guys later.